Hello and welcome to this series of short videos which will be accompanying my album, Invisible Music, folk songs that influenced Angela Carter. Hello, for this next video I'm pairing together tracks 14 and 15 which are the streams of lovely Nancy and a little extract from the bloody chamber, a second one. The Streams of Lovely Nancy is a weird song. I don't know if you've come across it. I mean, hopefully you have now with my version, but there are some other ones around. It's very trippy, the lyrics, they kind of don't make sense. And there's quite a lot of theorizing about where they've come from. Uh, in particular, in the in Eftus, in their folk song journal, you can find it in the library. Anne Gilchrist and Lucy Broadwood had a bit of a set to about it, or proffered different theories about where some of the language came from. What I'm interested in is the castle at the top of the hill, which has this beautiful description. And I feel Carter has completely nicked the castle from the streams of lovely Nancy, which she wrote about extensively in her undergraduate dissertation. I feel like she's pinched that castle and placed it in the bloody chamber as the Marquis's fairy tale castle by the sea. I always think of Mont Saint Michel as well when I'm reading. Ah, his castle of fairy solitude. There's something about the windows, there's something about the colours that make me feel Carter has completely borrowed the castle from the streams of lovely Nancy, which she knew so well, and plonked it in France with the Marquis as a perfect location for her piece of Gothic perfection that is the Bloody Chamber. 